Hey guys, Josh the Train Fan here. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be unboxing a uh, a couple of Atherin Genesis G2 C44-9Ws. <laughs> Uh, for this first section, I have to warn you, I'm sorry if I sound a little uh, out of breath or tired, but I, today was my first day back at college, and, uh, well, let's just say three of my four classes are today, and one of them literally lasts three hours into the night, so I'm pretty tired after my first day, I'm not gonna lie there, so. Uh, and also another pretty good warning about, uh, about for the future, ouch. You're probably not going to see very much of uh, this Dash 9 or the other Dash 9 4982 right away because I'll be too busy doing college homework and whatnot. So you're probably, I'm, I'm probably just going to, I'm scheduling a bunch of pre-recorded videos of uh, stuff I did before I got these things now. So it'll be a little while before you see these nice Dash 9s in active service, but it'll be fine. What is this? Oh, look at that. Well, that's pretty nice. A little Lombard and Hobbies bag. I like that. That's awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use that. What is this? Packing list enclosed and special free gift for you. NMRN tr compliant HON scale track and wheel gauge. All right, I'm liking this. It's really heavy. Oh man. Oh wow. Look at that. <laughs> I'll eat these right freaking now. What is this thing? Oh, here it is. Wow, this is it. NMRA wheel scale. Awesome. I've been needing to get one of these. Oh, thank you, Lombard. This is fantastic. What is this thing? Is this the order slip or what? Let's see, Lombard, huh? Yeah, this is the packing slip. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm tired. All right, I'm going to have to get rid of these packing peanuts so Chesapeake doesn't eat them. All right, let's unbox this beautiful thing. As expected, there's all these nice little, uh, there's a Dash 9 operator's manual in here. Going to probably need this in a second, so I'm just going to set that right here. There's another, there's, there's the operator's manual. This is the Tsunami Sound Guide because I ordered this stuff with sound. You know me, I'm at the club. Sign up for the news, stuff like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh boy. This is beautiful. Ugh, man. Oh man. Oh man, look at this. There's a little grime job on the radiator. Oh my goodness. I, I just gotta get these uh, little white protective film pieces out here. Let me just remove all that. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh wow. Oh, there's plastic. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. GECX number 4809. Look at that, right off the bat, we can see that this little brake chain right here moves. That's a pretty nice feature right there, very realistic. Kind of like my uh, Intermountain Gevos as well as my Atlas Dash 8, so that's a nice feature. I've always loved the moving realistic chains. Now, as we're going to see in a minute, I think, uh, I think the bearings here do move, or we're going to test those out in a moment let's see now since this is a prime for grime model we gotta check out some other good features like the gecx lettering over the i don't know if you can see that but there's a slightly different shade of orange right here where the bnsf lettering used to be then of course there's our nice little primer hvac because you know those hvacs are <laughs> they're made to be replaced because why not let's see let's take a look at the top here we got some, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some nice little grime in the radiator there. There's like some rust spots. We got a we got a nice little weathering spot right here on the back too. Very nice, very nice. I like this. Let's take a look at the other side now. Probably not very much to 
see on the same side except the same little patch of patch of orange that the uh, BNSF lettering used to be. Let's take a look at the back here. Right here is where the uh, circle cross used to be. Uh, let me let me grab one of my other Niners here for comparison. I'm gonna grab one of my scale trains units. I'm gonna take a quick comparison look here. You can see the different shades of the green on the 4809 versus the 4144 here. Let me uh, compare these two here. Take a look at these different shades right here. This is really cool. So 4809 is clearly faded a lot compared to 4144 over there. Let me just put 4144 back here. And then we can go to test 4809 on the track here. I'll probably equip this, uh, this bad boy with metal couplers and get rid of these plastic ones in a minute. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go over to, to Bealeville right now and just put this thing there. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm right in the middle of programming this unit with a long address, which is going to be my club number, of course, like I've been saying, as well as the last two numbers of the unit. All right, so here we go. Good so far. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with that so far. A little bit quiet, but that's okay. Probably should be that way, if we're being honest. I mean, the speaker on my Bachman SD78s did blow out because it was too loud. That is a genuine G7 FDL16 right there. Very beautiful. Let me move this over here because I'm about to test our features out. Okay, let's see uh, what our lights look like here. So we got nice shine, shining bright LED lights, I think. So number five naturally on Genesis units would be ditch lights. Whoa! There's radio chatter mixed in with the ditch lights, but those are really, really bright ditch lights. And because this guy has like a PTC equipment on the top here, he might lead a few things. Okay, let's test out a few of our good features, like our horn here. Same horn as the, uh, as, uh, let me grab it here. Same exact horn as, uh, this guy right here, the GP40W. I like that. That's kind of nice. A nice Nathan K308 horn. Very nice. Okay, let's check out the bell. Yep, nice little regular steel bell. Nice, not bad. Now button number three should naturally, on all Genesis units, be short horn. Okay, hearing that radio chatter is just really cool. I like hearing that. So button number four is usually dynamic brakes, but I'm not sure how that works on uh, GE units compared to EMD units. So let's test out how it sounds really quick, if anything. I'm not getting much yet out of it. So uh, I'm gonna try to pull back and then pull forward to see how that works. Ooh, I like hearing that GE bang bang sound. Okay, now I'm gonna pull forward and uh, yeah, just try to get the dynamic brakes going. There we go. Yep, that's the dynamic brakes. Okay, so that is pretty nice. Dynamic brakes are sounding really, really, really good. I'm gonna grab the manual here and check what kind of other features we got here, like boat number six. And let me just get the menu here. Okay, 
Okay, so button number six should be lighting effect two, whatever that means. Wait, wait a second. Oh, it lights up the number boards right there. That is cool. I like that. So button number seven should be cab chatter according to this. Wow, defect detector warning there. That's awesome. I really like that. Let's see, alternate. Let's see, button number eight is naturally mute. Button number nine is half volume. So, yeah, pretty much the basics. I'm going to keep this manual and put it in the box here. And then I'm going to uh, test this beauty out with some. Uh, with some freight cars. Sorry, I'm so I'm still so really, really tired. <laughs> I'm gonna pack up the box here. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, give me a second, and I will uh, come back with this unit and some cars, and then we can uh, move on to the 4982. <sighs> Okay guys, I think that's uh, probably going to end the showcase for uh, 4809 here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to wait a few days and then uh, hopefully 4982 will be here by then. And then uh, hopefully I can showcase him before my uh, college homework starts getting too uh, rampant, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, hopefully... Uh, Oh, so I won't be so tired next time when I get 4982 unboxed. So, um, anyway, I'll be right back with the 4982. I'll, I'll do a, li a little time skip here or something like that, and I'll just cut to when I have uh, 4982. And, uh, yeah, I will uh, be right back, guys. Okay, guys, it's day two of the unboxing video. We have unit 4982 sitting in this box. I'm very happy about it. And uh, I'm not as tired as Monday, but I'm still a little bit tired because I had to go and revise my college schedule today. A little class thing. 
But anyway, let's get this sucker open and let's see. Come on. All right. Okay, there's all the uh, usual plethora of stuff again, like operator's manual, dash nine information, after news, things like that. So I'm just gonna put all that in here. All right, there he is, 4982. Let's get this guy going. Getting this styrofoam out of here. I hate this stuff. Absolutely hate it. Oh, yes. Let's get that thing off. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, this is a very, very nice Dash 9. Let me focus in here. This is a very, very nice unit. Same details as the other one. We got the nice little chain work right here. Got the same, uh, hang on. Got the same uh, moving cap bearings. I'm trying to focus that. The same moving cap bearings as before. So that's pretty nice. On this one in particular, it's a bit special because it has a cab door that came off a war bonnet, probably one of the BNSF ones because of how red it looks, but this is a, uh, yeah, this is one beautiful unit. Now, the reason I picked up uh, this unit specifically is because this is part of the, uh, this is actually one of the exceptions to the leases. The big 4772 to 4978 lease. I mean, it was rumored to originally have gone to 4999, but, uh, Everything after 4978 got spared from it. So that's why I picked this up because the 4900 series are pretty rare now. So I'm going to get this guy onto the track and let's see what we can do with him. Okay, guys, I had a little bit of trouble getting this guy set up, but uh, I, I think we got him pretty good now. I've got him equipped with a long address. So let's check out the features on this guy. Let's start with our lights. Oh, that's weird. There aren't any main lights on this guy. Wait a second. Okay, we still have um, ditch lights and number lights, so that's kind of interesting. I've had the, I've, I've faced this before, actually. I have a locomotive that's actually actively doing this right now. The uh, 2768 over here, these top lights don't really come on, so I'm gonna have to take care of that, too. So that, that is really interesting how that works. I don't know what the heck's going on with it, but I, I will work this out. It's probably just a wiring thing in both engines or something like that. Either way, I'm going to look at that. So we, we can we can get over the lights right now. So now I'm going to test out some other features and see if they're any different from the uh, 4809 over there. Let's get the horn here. Doesn't sound much different than 4809 here. Short horn. Now let's check dynamic braking. Roughly about the same as the 4809 over here, so uh, I'm going to give 4982 a quick test run since we've already uh, tested the 4809 over there. All I'm going to have to do in the end is just fiddle around with the light controls a little bit and see what the heck's going on with those. Same with 2768. I'm going to have to bring both of them in the, for a quick inspection. So I'm going to just grab a few quick cars right over here.
Okay, here we go again. All right, guys, I think that's probably the perfect place to end this video today. Uh, we had some great fun here with our brand new G2-9s. I want to give a quick shout out to Lombard Hobbies because that is that is the place to go if you want DCC. I got 4809 from Lombard for less than $300, so that's a pretty good price right there, I'd say. I, I just, I want to give a shout out to Lombard for that, plus the amazing things that they also gave in there, like, uh, hang on, like this freaking thing right here, the, uh, the old little, uh, wheel gauger thing right here, you can see the slots in here, I, I, I actually really needed one of those, so thank you guys so much for that, thanks, thanks Lombard, I, I actually really needed one of those, that was fantastic, and the, the Welch's snacks, yeah, those are really good, thanks for that as well. And uh, if any of you who are watching this, like, uh, to all of you guys, yeah, go go check out Lombard if you want to start getting out into um, the modern railroading industry in general, especially for DCC and sound, because, what, buddy, they, they got the goods. Like, 40, I almost got 49.82 from Lombard, but it ran out before I could grab it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this nice little unboxing and review video of the nice Atherin Genesis g2 c44-9 w from ge this makes my total of three g2-9s including 1050 over here because that was a that's a dc model over there but um yeah anyway thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please share it with uh and with all the braille fans you know like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video take care guys